And back here on Earth, many factories in China are turning to robotics to counter rising salaries in the workplace. And small and medium-sized enterprises are being priced out of the market, unable to cope with the initial expense. But there's a big drive in southern China's Guangdong province to get them up and running. Ge Yunfei reports from Dongguan City. One in every eight smartphones across the world is manufactured here in Dongguan, a manufacturing base of apparels and technology. But the region has been losing its competitive edge over wage demands. The solution for many entrepreneurs is to introduce robots to the factory floor. Ying Shuping is running a factory which produces lights and lamps, but whilst he has some robots, he is hesitant to utilize any more. It puts us under a lot of pressure if we use robotic arms in some production process. It'll take us five to eight years to recoup the cost. The robots can greatly reduce the cost of labor. Small and medium-sized enterprises are very price sensitive and reluctant to spend big money on automated systems. Wu Fengli is the founder of Top Star Technology, a local robot company which provides total solutions. He said financial leasing might be a way to help these small enterprises. Through financial leasing, a factory can rent robots from us and pay their bill monthly instead of paying up front. In this way, the fixed cost can be allocated into each month, which greatly reduces the burden on small companies. And the local government is tapping into this idea by helping small factory owners get bank loans to rent robots. Now we've established a special pool of 200 million RMB to support the small and medium-sized companies in leasing machines and robots to provide interest subsidies and risk compensation. According to Wu, the CEO of Topstar, there is a severe lack of experienced and skilled workers in the market. So these SMEs need total automation solutions in manufacturing, training and logistics. Making a robot is like producing a car, but apart from selling a car to your customers, you have to build a racing track and even train the drivers for them. Founded in 2007, Wu's robotic company has annual sales worth more than 300 million yuan, or 44 million US dollars, with an annual growth rate of more than 45 percent. Wu said most of his customers are big companies, and the robotic industry will only reach its potential once the small factories can afford to utilize them. Ge Wingfei, CCTV, Dongguan in Guangdong province.